Oh, hey, Todd. What's up, Barney B? Um, I'm having a really bad day, and like, I need someone to talk to. Can we talk, please? Okay. Uh, just come in and have a seat, and we'll we'll talk. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, I just had like a really bad day, and I just need to have like a heart to heart with someone who will listen. Tell me what's bothering you. Tell me about your day. To start my day, it was like really early in the morning. My mom was like, Todd, breakfast! And I was like, whoa, what time is it? I looked at my alarm. It was 1 p.m. And I'm like, whoa, early. So I like walk down the stairs and I get to the kitchen and my breakfast is in the dog food bowl. I start just eating it, and my mom was like, Todd, your breakfast is on the table. Why are you eating dog food? And I look at her and I go, I don't know. You tell me. Like, after breakfast, I meet up with my friend Billy, but we call him Wicked Billy, and we're like walking on the road, and we see this sweet dog. It's all black and it has a white stripe from the top of his head to his tail. So like, I go up to pet it and like, Wicked Billy is like, don't pet it, don't pet it. I say, don't worry about it, bro. And I pet it and then everything starts smelling and my clothes smell and Wicked Billy's like, that was a skunk. That dog stinks. What kind of dog is a skunk? Ugh. Billy and I just keep walking on the road and I find a $20 bill and I'm like, yes. Later, I'm at this gas station and I wanna buy a Mountain Dew. So I walk up and try to pay for it with my $20 bill I found. And the guy at the register was like, what is this? And I'm like, uh, Money? And he's like, that's an old corn dog. And I'm like, uh, no. And Wicked Billy looks at me and says, why are you trying to pay for the Mountain Dew with an old corn dog? I am confused. So I tell the guy at the register, I don't want to buy this anymore. I leave and I come here. I'm, I'm just confused how you didn't know the difference between a corn dog and a $20 bill. That one's... I just don't get. Uh, but there's a couple of things you did today that confused me. <laughs> but uh, sometimes when I'm sad, I uh, I do math problems. Makes me feel happy. Um, can I show you a few math problems? Maybe it'll make you feel better. That sounds good, I guess. Ugh. We are gonna be dividing decimals, all right? So we have the problem 8.4 divided by 2.1. I drew what looks like a recycling symbol around it because it helps me, and I'll show you how it can help you too. 8.4 is gonna go on the inside of the division symbol. 2.1 is going to go on the outside of the division symbol. Now, when we get here, we do not want a decimal on the outside of the division symbol. So we have to move the decimal. Well, we have one digit behind the decimal on the outside, so we're going to move it once to the right to now get a whole number, 21. But if we do that on the outside, we also have to do the exact same thing on the inside. So if we moved it once to the right on the outside, we have to move it once to the right on the inside. So now, instead of 8.4, it becomes 84. So let's rewrite this problem. So now, we have what looks like a new problem. However, they both equal the same thing. So now, 21 goes into 8 how many times? 0. 21 goes into 84 how many times? 4. Well, let's double check. 84 minus 84 is 0. So we have 8.4 divided by 2.1 equals 4. All right, thumbs up if you get it, thumbs down if you don't. Yeah, yeah. Now I have a much more challenging problem for you. 14.88 divided by 6.2. I drew what looks like a recycling symbol around this because maybe it will help you, it helps me. 14.88 is gonna go on the inside of the division symbol. 6.2 is going to go on the outside of the division symbol. Now, we cannot have a decimal outside the division symbol. We do. We have 
So we have to move the decimal to the right once to get 62. But if we move it to the right once on the outside, we have to move it to the right once on the inside. So now on the inside, we have 148.8. Now we have to divide. 62 goes into one, zero times. 62 goes into 14, zero times. 62 goes into 148, two times. Bring up your decimal. And now we uh, 62 times two is 124, which we are going to subtract from 148, which gives us 24. Bring down the eight. So now 62 goes into 248, four times. 248 minus 248 equals zero. So 14.88 divided by 6.2 equals 2.4. That was a difficult one. Just remember to bring up your decimal. And I think you got it. Yeah, that makes sense, dude. Thanks for the science lesson, man. It's really helped me out. I just got a text from Kid. He wants to come over for like three days. Is that cool? Tell him no. Tell him no right now. What's going on, guys? Hope you got my text. I brought clothes for three weeks and I brought pretzels. <laughs> yeah! Why? Yes! Pretzels rule! Stay is awesome! Yeah! Hey, haven't seen you in a while. I've just been chilling, yo. See ya.